welcome back to the channel super snails <laughs> we have a quick one hopefully we have uh i don't know how to pronounce your name but it's like pucha puchel start puchel start uh he asked if um I can, he can get some help uh could you give me an example of economic relics green and blue please uh I don't have actual like an actual PDF like anybody in the comment section can help him out. Um, I don't have anything uh, that provides that information. But what I normally do when I go into my economy section is I go into the little uh, obviously we can go ahead and start with the going into the relic section. We can go into the collector's certificate here and the first snail when you have this available because early on you don't have these guys available. But when you do you're going to be allowed to have options to like combine awakened relics. So an awakened relic, if you come here, it looks like this. So it gets to a certain level where I have almost, uh, do I have a tier six here? Okay. So this is a tier six and I can actually awaken it. So I can show you right here. I just want to see if it's worth doing because gold reagents are hard to come by and I may be looking at T3 something maybe and I'm, I'm probably gonna need the reagents but um, <clears throat> one way to find out if it's uh, economy sorry I'm just all over the place uh, one way to find out if it's economy if you just click here and you go into your little guy right here and you click this last option a little like tile and when you go into the snail defense or uh, self stats that's just gonna give you like hard stats attack it's gonna give you HP rush and uh, defense right so that's it that's the acronym hard uh, if you go into the home building, it's going to show you everything and anything that can combine to give you more resource production. So <clears throat> if we look here, this one's lumber output, so I can actually level this one up. But if I click on this one, because it's saying, hey, you can awaken this one. If you click on it, uh, it'll only give you max cap 20% when it's awakened. So is it really helping you? Not really, unless you're in the rift like a lot of us are because it takes like a whole day to clear anyway so it's like all right i'll just you know start it when i wake up in the morning and before i go to bed or i'll see it tomorrow the next day literally as you wake up at the same time boom you just go ahead and hook that up anyway um so is this helpful no not this one because this is not giving you that but if you had both of these little asterisks up and you had the resources to combine them both now your lumber output is going to go up 14 percent. and is that worth it yeah, yes it is. Because the, having any of these uh, reawakened, right? You can go into your museum section and you can apply those in here. So the, they give you like the, the, the bigger bang for your buck. So you can put, you know, it'll ask you, this pillar right here will ask you for uh, a T4 or a T5. And then after the T5, it'll be like T6 or reawakened or whatever. And it's going to be asking you for like some major powerful, you know, relics. Like this guy right here has three slots. And uh, I believe, let me see what the requirement is. The requirement here is awakened orange relic. So it, it ain't playing around. It want, And, you know, I'm going to put this guy in here too. So uh, it, it's not playing around. It wants it wants to have this here. So um, it's, it's always good to reawaken those. If you're asking for like the blues and the greens, the... The greens are like, the, the greens don't matter because you're going to get them. And once you get them, you just power through them. You just hook them up regardless. Uh, so it's not like a green one is like, which one do you choose first? You, you get those on sequences, like certain timings. So like you'll beat a boss and he'll just drop it. And you were going to beat that guy anyway. So it doesn't matter. Uh, you, the blue ones, the blue ones depends on RNG. I'm not sure what you're going to get either because here i'm basically tapped out like all this intel right here uh i could i can click on this it'll tell me hey uh you're only going to get these two but guess what i have these already maxed out plus 300 you're going to get to a point where you're going to max these out and this whole page right here becomes irrelevant except for like this like this is like i i don't get the keys i don't even think i have the key and this guy got so many times uh i believe you can get it at lotto 2 yeah you can get it at lotto 2 and from here these are the only only, only two places you can get this guy at so i mean i that that's why that helped out so much can i get this in lotto 2 as well i'm just not 0.01 percent fuck off <laughs> that thing is like let's see if we score it right now let's see if yeah see i'm not getting that bitch you know what i'm saying like that's 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 rough 
but uh, like you know everything else here got but if if i look at all these right here i i'm pretty sure these are all even even the one percenters you get these so commonly that you're it's just a matter of time that you're just going to collect them all and it's not going to matter is that a b tabs oh time machine upgrade costs okay so that, that this is technically economy because it's it's reducing the cost of something that you would need to upgrade which is really important which is your time machine so you're good there uh and this is hard stats because it's giving you attack they're all going to be in here you can always click here you can take a look at them and you can find out which one's which eventually again guaranteed you're going to get all these that's why when i come here real quick and i look at my i believe was already here home building uh that's why nothing's lit up Nothing's lit up because I've already basically gotten everything I can. Now, not obtained. I don't know where the hell this guy is. I don't know where you get him. Lottery machine one. What? <laughs> obtained through wishes at the... Al what? <laughs> That's insane that I don't have this dumbass chair. That's kind of bananas. I, I wonder what your, um, <clears throat> what your drop rate is. Where are you? So if we come here, and I think it's blue, and you click on that chair. It's got to be even lower. What? 0.03% chance. Wow. Okay. So there are things there's there are things here that I haven't gotten. Oh, I know why. I know why I haven't gotten. It. I wonder if it's in the chair two. No, it didn't say chair two, did it? Okay. So that's that's why. Because as soon as you got into the lotto two, as soon as lotto two came out, you you kind of gave up on lotto one. And there's a lot of things in lotto one that I still don't have. And I don't see myself going back to lotto one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't care about all this stuff. Uh, even though the quarry output 12% matters, you know what I'm saying? But I, I have a good, I have a good amount. So if you, you know, if you come to the, uh, the production section, which is, uh, I don't know if you know this, but it's just a little sign right here. <clears throat> it lights up every now and then. I'm sure you, you, you've noticed it. So you come and you, you, you take a look at these guys and you, and you make sure you put the proper one. So, uh, we, I'm sorry, what is this? This is a quarry. So the quarry, we're looking at the rocks. So I, I stone output 30%, boom, boom, boom. Good to go. Uh, I, I, find, I this is like the best one I have if you change it and you come to this guy and you go quarry all the quarry imported uh, important ones that come up is there anything good here is there anything good max cap is not important uh, fossils are good so why am I not using it I don't know stone put oh because I I don't care about the fossils more than I care about the output because you have a, you get a, even though, even if this was a hundred percent fossil rate, like my time machine chest is at a hundred percent or like my, not this, one. I thought I had another hundred percent, 123% on the white tadpole. Like it doesn't, you're not going to get more than a hundred percent and you're not going to get more than the cap of that day. So like, again, resources and stuff, your relics are going to give you more output. And that's what you really want. You want the daily output to that's the one that matters so everything else doesn't it doesn't it doesn't right because your max cap you don't want to have a cap of like oh, a daily output of 22 hours and you can only max cap five hours because then you're gonna have to be logging in every, five, <laughs> every four or five hours to like get in there not, not that 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 would happen I, I don't think that would ever happen anyway i'm i'm, I'm going off to the weeds um <laughs> that, that that's not important but hopefully i asked i answered your question your question should be uh, answered by just the fact that if you if you play a little while and this guy right here this scroll the uh, I forget novice scroll the novice scroll you can get a lot of novice scrolls from like here if you I believe this is the first one so this is your this is your novice scroll right here I'm to the point where I don't I don't sorry this one right here I and then and this is the alchemy this is your reagent one and then this is your black tabs you're going to get plenty of them as you explore when you explore you're gonna get novice scrolls left and right uh to the point where getting 20 for 500 of the uh of whatever this this is this, this is called this is called crystal boom uh you're not gonna need it you're, i would rather I, I would rather you spend uh black tabs in this tile i'm sure you you may be listening to me right now and be like nah i got that dude i i don't do that cool uh expert scroll same deal either white tabs or this guy right here the uh the divine order chest much more worth it because you're going to get these while you explore and you're going to get to a point where you're not going to need those where these don't show up you're going to get these as well don't get me wrong you're going to get a lot of these shards you're going to get a lot of these the divine order chest and you're going to get divine neutral and then you're going to get divine chaos so these divine chests are basically something that you get from exploring as well the shards so you're going to get things there you just give it some time 
it and everything will come. And sometimes you may not get certain, like me, you saw that, right? You saw that I, I didn't get some certain things and you can't do anything about it. So then you 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 just say, okay, I'm, I'm tapped out. I'm literally maxed out on, on all of my home building stuff. So where do I go next? Gene evolution is a really good start. Gene evolution is a very, very good start. See here, Mecha Gene so, uh, research cell costs negative uh, 3.6%, which is really good because eventually you're going to get to a point where you might run out of cells. This is perfect. It reduces the cost to enter your fee to get what you need. So you don't always have to worry about what you don't have, but you, can, you should worry about what you do have and what you can work with and put you know put effort into that hopefully i, I helped out so <laughs> uh yeah man good luck and i'll see you guys on the next one peace